Hi everybody, Sharon here. Delighted that you joined me. You're very welcome today. I just want to take a few minutes out just to let you know about my new podcast. I'm really excited to say I'm delighted I'm doing this new project. It is called The Garden of Confidence. So as the name suggests, we're going to be talking a lot about confidence topics. And for me, it's something that's really, really close to my heart. Um, my friends, family, anybody that knows me will always say, oh, Sharon, you're so confident. And I suppose, you know, to the outside world looking in, yeah, I can see how people would think I'm confident. I would always put my hand up for something, you know, in work, I never have a problem taking on assignments. I've never had a problem with public speaking. But through a lot of personal things that have happened to me, particularly over the last five years, what I'm certainly realizing is that confidence is way more than being able to stand up and speak to a crowded room. If we go back a couple of years, for me, what I wore every day was my armor to the world. So as I'm sure mothers can relate to, mornings can be absolutely hectic, but you don't want to get to work looking like you're not in control. You want to feel like you're in control so that when you're back in work, I used to feel, you know, I'm Sharon again. And as I said, what I wore was my armor to the world. No matter what went on that morning, I got dressed, I went to work, I was given my presentations, I was given my pitches, and no one knew that I was juggling so much in the mornings or maybe some even mornings close to absolute tears. And when I set up your style, your story, you know, that was really my mission was for other mothers and other women out there as well, busy women, just to give them their mornings back. And just that when they left, each morning for wherever they were going, they felt confident, they felt strong within themselves, and then they were able to get on with whatever it is they wanted to achieve that day. We fast forward, and through my business coach and mentor, Paul Davis, what he's teaching me is that confidence is just such a huge, huge topic. Um, it's primarily based on three pillars, so that is self-belief, self-love and self-worth and really it has a huge impact personally I mean especially I would feel it has a huge impact across everything that I've done everything that I am doing and everything that I want to do and it has made me achieve things slower maybe it's made me achieve other things quicker and it's something that I really want to explore and understand what impact it's having on my life what different areas and relationships and work and what I need to do to raise my confidence. On this podcast, I'm going to have weekly guests. So we have experts lined up to join us, um, which I'm really, really excited by because they're going to cover some really brilliant topics and they'll tell us about their clients and how they're helping their clients. Also, I'm going to have some real life stories on as well. So women just like me and you that maybe two years ago were struggling with low self-worth or any other area within confidence. And come on, tell us their story. Let us know what were the tools that they used to bring them forward to today. How long did it take? You know, let's set the expectations. What I really want out of this podcast is that at the end of each series, we have something tangible that you and I can go away with and go, okay, I'm going to bring this into my daily life. I'm going to bring this into my daily work and really see the results come true. There's lots and lots and lots of cherries out there, but now I want to build up a garden of really tangible tools that we can all use every single day in our life. So why am I doing this publicly? You're probably wondering, well, you know what? It is not just me. I know there's lots of women out there that for some reason, you know, they may not just feel happy and they don't even know why they're not happy because all around them, they may have the beautiful partner, the fabulous home, the fabulous children. And that's even worse because you can't even speak to your friends or family and say, you know what, I'm just not happy inside. So this podcast is for any women out there that feel unsure about themselves. They're just not happy and they just don't know why. They may not know how to set boundaries with themselves or with others around them. And I'm saying, join me on the podcast. Not all topics will be relevant to you. Just dip in and dip out for the topics that are meaningful for you. Maybe you're excellent at self-care, but maybe your self-worth is a little bit low. So just jump in and just join on the topics that really will help you along. Some of the topics that we're going to cover, just to give you an idea whether these will relate to you. 
do you struggle to set boundaries at work? And I think this is a big one. And, you know, maybe you're an employee or maybe it's your own business. Maybe you're a freelancer. And, you know, are you always saying yes? Are you always over delivering? And is that because you're afraid that people will think bad of you and maybe they'll choose another service provider? Do you struggle with saying no for the same reason? And particularly within relationships, do you always feel like you're the one saying yes, yes, yes? So I'm a terror for this. And I would always say yes. And I would feel so guilty if I said no. And within me, I know that every time I say yes, I'm saying no to my family or I'm saying no to something else because I simply can't do it all. And I certainly think this was definitely one of the triggers for my panic attacks all those years ago was that constant saying yes, 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 but never refilling myself back up. So it was constant give, give, give but never filling myself back up. And what it also made is then you start to resent the person that you're in a the relationship with. And it doesn't have to be your partner. I mean, it could be your mother, it could be your sister. You start to resent them because you don't have to say no. And you feel like you're the one that's always, always given to given. Do you hear and even understand the point of self-care? So I get it, but I don't get it. I still cringe when I think of self-care or self-love. You know, I think that's grand. I can do that at my time when everybody's gone to bed and no one needs me. But that's not really what self-care is about. I don't know exactly what it's about. And I'm excited that I'm going to have guests on here that will tell me exactly this is self-care, how many times I need to do it a day. What does it look like that when I get to the end of the day, I can say, you know what, Sharon, I did prioritize myself. There is some self-care within my day. I actually don't really know. So I'm excited that that's going to be one of the topics as well. Do you also look outside yourself for happiness? And I think we're all really guilty of doing this. But you know what we need to realize is that really the only way we can be truly, truly happy is from the inside. Now that might sound all lovey and wishy-washy, but it's the truth. But that's fine if we know that's the truth. How do we actually get to the point that we feel happy from inside out? We're going to have a guest on that's going to help us exactly do that. Confidence is such a big, big part of this amazing world. And I'm really, really excited to grow my confidence. And I hope you're going to join along and grow with me. If I think it spills over into work, I mean, they always say there's not enough women on the boards. Well, why is it? Is it because when it comes to promotions, we're too nervous to put ourselves forward? Do we see the job specification and think, you know what? I've nine out of those 10 points. Okay, I can't do it this time. Instead of just going, you know, nine out of 10 is really good. Unless it's a bus driver and one of those 10 is you need to drive. Okay, that's critical. But can you not grow in the position? You know, does 10 out of 10, do we always need to wait until we're absolutely perfect? Is that something to do with our confidence? If we build our confidence, can we push yourself more forward for these things? I don't know. But again, I want to find out. In our personal relationships, do we have the confidence to ask to be an equal partner? Or is there always that feeling that we need to run around the other person? And again, like I said before, maybe it's that continuous saying yes. But how about getting that confidence that we stand up when we recognize, you know what, I'm an equal partner. I'll treat you with respect. I'll treat you with love and trust. But I expect at a minimum to be treated the same way another and I think this is such a biggie how not to fear how others will see or think of us I mean can you imagine what that would be like to just do the things that you want to do without going "Uh oh what if what if this person thinks this of me what if this person thinks that of me and you know what really we really think they'll think the absolute worst of us what if we could just get past that? What if we had a tool to just ignore that and just really get on with everything that we actually want to do? And does anybody else suffer with confidence as a mum? This, this was a huge topic for me, and it's still quite a big topic, to be honest, that you compare yourself to other mothers and you think, oh, I'm just not good enough. You know, maybe you breastfed, maybe you didn't breastfeed. Maybe you made their puree from absolute scratch. And, you know, maybe sometimes you use the jars. I used to always be thinking, why is it always my children that look like they have the chocolate on their face? Maybe you don't want your friends to realize your children are watching TV or playing with their iPads. But again, it's all down to our self-worth, isn't it? And how we build it around thinking 
that what people's opinion is of ours and our kids and we build it up to such a pedestal what about apologizing to want to have your career so i was delighted when i was pregnant i was so excited when my children came along and i absolutely adore both my boys but I knew I still wanted my career. I'd spent many years at college. I'd worked long and hard hours for my career. And I didn't want to give it all up. And I always believed, and I still believe, it was possible to be a very good mom and to still have a great career. And it's just, I have to work out how. But that's my choice. And I suppose, what about you know, mums, friends of mine that have chose, you know, when my children are young, I want to stay at home. So again, it's about being confident and making those decisions and not looking to other people for the approval before we make those decisions. How about not letting our story define us? How about saying, you know, I'm Sharon, not I'm Sharon who was going through a divorce or I'm Sharon who was from Centre Dublin. How about, I'm Sharon, let's not let our backgrounds define us, our marital status, our appearance. Let's be happy who we are and stand up for who we are, be proud of who we are. So this podcast, I really want it to be fun. I want it to be uplifting. I want you to feel better by the end of each episode. I want you to take away practical tools. I want you to love listening to our interviews with our guests, with our panel of experts. And I hope it really has a really positive impact on your life. And like I said, you just dip in and out of the episodes, whichever topics are relevant for you. If you are an expert or you know of other experts and you think, you know what, some of the topics Sharon just mentioned there, I teach. These are my topics. I would love to hear from you. Just email me, Sharon at yourstyleyourstory.com. Or, you know, maybe you have gone through these topics and maybe this was you four years ago, five years ago. And you want to say, you know what, Sharon, let me jump on. I can tell you exactly how I was and how I am now and what I need to do along the way. Email me, Sharon at your style, your story. So this will be going out on all of the usual platforms. So you will find us on audio through Spotify and through Apple Podcasts. If you want to see our videos live, you can catch them on our Facebook page, or you can also catch them recorded and watch again on our YouTube page. Head over to our website, www.yourstyleyourstory, and also all the links there of how you can catch up with all of the episodes. So until next week, when I have my first guest on. So really excited. Enjoy the rest of your day, everybody. Bye.